What's going on guys? Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to take a screenshot with the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G. Taking a screenshot is a pretty basic function, but every phone has its own way to do it. And this specific phone has several different features you can change to enhance your experience when you're taking a screenshot. So I'm gonna show you everything. Before we go any further, I do wanna remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. That being said, let's get into the video. So first and foremost, the way to take a screenshot with this phone is simply by pressing the power key and the volume down key at the same time, just like this. And there you go, you have this little toolbar where you can edit the screenshot, you can crop it, mark it up, anything you want, and then when you're done, you have the option to either share it or you can also delete it, and of course, you can save it to your photos as well. I do want to point out the common mistake some people might make. Remember, you're going to be pressing the power key and the volume down key, not the power key and the volume up key, because look what happens when you do that. It's a whole different feature. This is going to put the phone on vibrate mode, which is a cool feature and all, but it's not going to take your screenshot. Another thing to keep in mind is you don't need to hold the buttons. As soon as these two buttons go down at the same time, it's gonna take the screenshot. Holding it is just unnecessary. Now that was easy enough, but there are actually two different ways to take a screenshot with this phone. So the other one isn't activated by default. So first, I'm gonna show you how to get this feature enabled. So we're gonna go to settings, system, gestures, and three finger screenshot right here. Make sure three finger screenshot is toggled on and then the feature is going to be activated and ready to use. When you have three finger screenshot enabled, all you need to do to take a screenshot is put three fingers on the screen and hold it for just a sec. And there we go, another way to take a screenshot. I personally like this way a lot and there are definitely some situations where it might be useful, but it's nice to have two different options just in case. Now there is another feature I wanna show you that's really similar to screenshots, and that is screen recording. Screen recording is a really common tool in higher-end phones and flagship phones, but it's not in every mid-range or entry-level phone, so it's nice to see that this feature is available in this phone. Screen recording is just as easy to do as taking an actual screenshot. All you need to do is open your quick menu by swiping down twice, scroll one to the left, and screen record is right here. Hit start one more time. There's gonna be a countdown right here, and when it's over, the screen recording is gonna start. You have a few options here as well. You can record audio, so if you're doing a tutorial or something like that, you can narrate it, which I think is really cool. And you can also record your face with the front-facing camera, and I've never seen that feature before, so I think that's a real cool one too. After you hit stop, it's gonna save the screen recording to your photos, and when it does that, it is gonna give you this little notification. But that was a quick tutorial on how to take a screenshot and a screen recording with the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you found this information useful as well. If you wanna learn more about the phone itself, definitely check out my full review of the device on the channel. And if you happen to be watching this after you got the phone and want to see some more cool tips and tricks for this phone, you can check out my beginner's guide and my tips and tricks video for the phone on the channel. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.